So one, what I'm going to do is demonstrate it first on the system. So I've got lovely Mickey Mouse pulled up here already. And for us, we do everything via the TeesWide dashboard, which is our local ICB uh, dashboard, and it's got everything that we need on there. We click here, and we've got all of our two-week wait forms. Now, that's not the important thing. The important thing is this, making sure that we click this, as it will automatically trigger a couple of things. One, would you like to send an urgent task to the secretaries, which goes yes, and it will send this automatic form. Okay, I'm not going to send it because it's just for Mickey Mouse. And likewise, this cancer care safety code. And that's a code that we've agreed as a practice so that when you um, discuss with a patient to make sure that they come back within a week if they haven't heard anything, that we must add that one as well. This is down to protocols. Protocols are incredibly useful and make life incredibly safe within the practice. Think about them in terms of three parts, and we're going to talk through them each individually. And that's trigger, process, and output. Now, sometimes it's easier to think about it a bit back to front. So in this case, the output is simple. We want a task to be sent and a read code to be um, to added to the uh, medic uh, to the consultation. The trigger, now that requires often a bit of knowing what working habits and what's happening here. And in this case, it's the read code, the fast track cancer referral. Okay, so that triggers that we need to do something with this. So we're going to go into system one into how to design a protocol and that will show you how this is created. So let's go in. Let's make first our task template and it's all under setup. So we know setup, data entry, and we go down here to task template. And I've got here two week wait referral and I'll just hit amend so you can see it. Going top to bottom, pick a pretty icon, your choice, sends an automatic urgent charge to secretaries, recipient, and we've got here user group, so we're going to assign it to the user group, to the secretarial team, and it's a referral, so we can pick the categories. Status, we want it not started, and then put it urgent as a red flag. Again, that's what we've agreed with, and due in one day. What that means is if it goes over in one day, it will flag up as red on, on their task list, so it's easily seen from it. And it's just the task body is the automatic body um, that sort of will pop up in the message. So secretaries, two-week wait referral, please can you send just to something nice and polite because we've got to all work together. So we hear OK. So let's go into our protocols themselves. So set up again, workflow support, and this little protocols here. OK. So I'm going to search for our uh, protocol. <clears throat> so I've got it here under cancer capture. And what we're going to do is I'm going to hit amend protocol just so, so I can talk you through it. So this is the first page. This is your details about what's going to happen from here. And I've just sort of put it in. I've got a category of clinical and then just put a subcategory of cancer. And we've again got the same icon so we can tie it all together. And we might want to sort of add in a bit of a description. Trigger. Okay. So this shows that it was allow this protocol to be launched manually, allow this protocol to, to be launched automatically in case we want to. And then this trigger this, re, this protocol when certain read code is added. Okay, so in this case, fast track cancer referral. Now, when I initially set this up, it was triggering when the secretaries were trying to organize things and that they just frustrated them. So I've restricted the triggering based on these staff members access roles. These are variable depending on your um, smart card setup and how your practice has got it organized. So just have a chat who whoever organizes your smart cards and they'll be able to sort things out. So that's that one. Filters. I haven't filtered it at all. You could argue whether you do it, you want to filter it just for adults, but again, I have just left that blank. So the design. Keep it nice and simple, okay? So we start it off, and then we just add a simple question, okay, so through that box there. And it says here, would you like to send urgent task secretaries now? Yes, no, okay, and then it'll pop up with these little boxes. And all we do is that we, once we're happy, we create and drag a little line and it'll connect everything else, okay. Here is a, what's called a quick action, okay. So we can hit an action, and what we want to do is that we'll hit task template and it will say specific task type in yours, apply task template. 
and then it'll come up with the list that we've come up with there already. So you can see our two-week wait referral. So that tells the protocol that we will automatically want this template to happen. So we've sent our template, right, what's next? We need to add that read code. Do you want to add a cancer safety net code? Yes, no. Okay, and add code there. And you can see here, read code, and just find the one that you want, that you've agreed as a practice to use, and then stop. That's it. Nice and simple. 